One of the advantages we think of the route package in the five wide attack is that because of their uh, the combinations that we use, they're good against all coverages. So I'd like to, to change the coverage, keeping the same three deep diagram that we used in terms of attacking three deep with our two route, and show you what would happen if cover, we, we saw cover two, and that we don't have to change the play. Okay? Typically what happens in cover two is we'll see a rotation where the strong safety will go back and he'll play a two deep safety over top of our Z, man, Z receiver. The corner will walk down and he'll usually play outside leverage. Sometimes play inside leverage, but he'll play some leverage like that. The Sam pretty much stays intact and he plays inside the B. This corner will walk down, play some type of bump coverage. The free safety will rotate over. Because it, it, the hashes are, are here, he usually he doesn't line up right on the hash. He sheets over to get a little closer to the X receiver. Right? This allows their will linebacker to play in a little more of a hip technique or almost a stack look there behind the five. It also allows us to know that he now becomes a potential rusher because they can play two on two over here with the free safety in the corner. So when we see cover two, we know that the field side is really three on two to their advantage between the free safety of the wheel in the corner. But we also know that that gives them the extra blitz guy. So right around, right away, we're aware that there could be a boundary blitz. The thing we know against cover two is that this gives us a three on three opportunity over here while it's two on three into the boundary. So we're going to immediately going to work this side. So looking at what would happen here is in this particular instance we we start with the post once again the Sam is taught that he needs to wall that route because of the length of his stem he works up the field a little stronger knowing that he has cover two and that, that guy when he makes his post break he may not he doesn't have help in the middle so we have a perfect route to beat cover two or to 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 challenge the cover two uh, safeties is a post route so the, the quarterback can come up and he, he knows right away that cover two he has a post route he can look right through that post route and see if that same linebacker is going to run with him the other person who can come underneath that is the Mike linebacker. Sometimes they could play Tampa 2 and they could run the Mike linebacker over into the post. So he knows that he can look right down that window to where the post is and if that's open he can throw that. All right. The other thing is, is with the with the out and up to the Z, he knows now that this corner is going to bump or he's going to sink, and then as he sees number two coming to the out, he's going to go ahead and play him, and more than likely he'll jam that route, and not let that route get up the field, or he'll work it into the boundary and squeeze it so that it's a tougher throw for us. So we know right away that against cover two with that press corner that this Z is not going to be a good throw to us. However, we also know that this dig area is still a good throw for us because this, this safety is going to backpedal. He's going to see two run the out. He's going to come lock in on number one at once he gets out of his break. But the depth of this dig route allows us to get a little separation so that when he comes out of his break, that strong safety is going to have to go a little farther to get there and by the timing of our throw, we should be able to get that ball in before he arrives. So, we haven't had to change the route on the field side, and now we know that the post is a real good throw, and our dig is still a real good throw. We just know that the out and up is probably taken away from us, or it's a more risky throw to do that. Um, over here on the uh, boundary side against cover two, we, we've really, we were looking here, we, Initially, we're going to look at this A route and swing route, and we're going to say, okay, he's going to press him, work over, and then the corner would come back off on the swing route. 
One or two other things is going to happen. As I told you originally, anytime we see cover two, the free safety has moved over and made it two on three, and this becomes the blitz man. So if the quarterback sees this blitzer start to press the line of scrimmage and get a little closer, and he knows that he's going to come, we already have the perfect route built in for that blitz against cover two. And he'll throw that slant route because the first window is wide open, right? And we know that the safety is going to come down and, and play down on that. However, he's going to have to move all a long ways over into that boundary uh, to play that slant route. If the will linebacker, if they've decided not to blitz him and they truly want to play this kind of look, then we know that he'll back out a little bit and if he goes to the first window, we can still make a second window throw, all right? If he just turns to wall him, we have our first window that's still open. So the quarterback knows against too deep, it's going to be a quick throw, and, and, and he can take a one-step slant, one-step drop if he'd like to. We can, he can change that to a quick one and know that he can, he's going to throw that really fast into the first window.